keep hearing big waves crashing, so they're probably coming from this direction. And hopefully there are no bears. We're gonna keep talking just in case. <laughs> so they will hopefully hear us. Today, we are exploring the distant shores of Fern Harbor, a more remote part of Glacier Bay National Park that few people ever see. Here you will find no commercial operations, no tour boats, no roads, no designated trails, and no visitor center. It requires no permit or controlled entry, like the main part of the park far to the east, and you can only access it by private vessel. It's pure, wild, Alaskan wilderness at its finest. And the views from this sea level tidal plain to the rugged and glaciated Fairweather mountain range, which tops out at an elevation of 15,266 feet, truly made this a magical spot. So this looks like just a normal green mat, but if you look real low, this stuff, it's called beach asparagus. And you can cook it just like you would asparagus. Mm. Already pre-salted for you. And this is just a freaking field of it. I know what we're gonna have with dinner. Yeah, just find some beach lovage, add it to our pre-made meals, It'll be nutritious and delicious.
Sailing, like many complex things in life, is a constant learning process. Always learning, making mistakes, and evaluating and improving upon those mistakes. Our first trip through any impasse was exactly all of those things. It made us really reassess what we did and did not do properly, including the true importance of knowing the direction of swell combined with wind and tidal currents in narrow channels. And even with the incredibly dynamic nature of piloting a sailboat on the ocean, where you can do everything right and it still goes sideways, we learned some valuable lessons that day that are imprinted for a lifetime. And well, timing really is everything, including when the timing is right to finally get the sails out.
Just listening to our daily gospel. Sounds like uh, it's going to get interesting tomorrow. A little bit. We're out in the main passages. Yeah. So that's what that was, six feet in cross sound. Yeah. As sailing is in southeast Alaska, we soon had way too much wind with too much sail out, causing a brief panic, and then we had no wind. With the day really beginning to stretch out and many miles to our next planned anchorage, we hoisted the iron sail and continued on. We anchored here in Nika Bay, the south end of Port Fredrickson, which is where Huna is located. Pretty calm anchorage, considering what it was out like out in Icy Strait. We will take it. That's per usual, a nice rocky beach and a seemingly impenetrable forest. Beautiful though. I'll give it that. 
So it's about 9 p.m. on Monday. We went across North Indian Pass about 10.30 in the morning. We just finished anchoring probably 20 minutes ago. I made it all the way to Huna, past Huna, down Port Fredrickson to Nika Bay where we anchored around a bunch of crab pots. And I am exhausted. Did not eat enough. And yeah, looking forward to getting back to the boat and eating dinner. But we had to take care of business first. Uh, we haven't really wanted to use the composting toilet since we still don't really know what's going on. Joss and I both have need to take a poop all day. And we left our last anchoring pretty short notice and didn't really have time to go ashore because we really needed to start the passage through North Indian Pass uh, since that was a last minute decision of no let's go now instead of later because the weather was looking like it was going to deteriorate. So I'm happy we made that decision if we made it all the way out here, but whew, I'm exhausted. And for the conclusion of the evening, classic 10 p.m. Alaskan summer dinner and a show by a group of porpoises that were having a great time playing around the boat. Yep. Catch us on the next one where we conclude our maiden voyage and head back to Huna where we are reminded of the joys of docking a sailboat. <laughs>